So this is the forging area. So both the two forges there, um, and it's just um, two steps from the forge to the either of the two anvils. And so this is the one we've been working on. It's uh, quite a neat little tool, if I do say so myself. I'll turn it on in a minute, but um, just on the working side of it, because it's just a little bit noisy. So <coughs> what was happening was the um, when it wasn't working, this belt was um, riding on the um, on the drive pulley and continuing to run the belt. So we ended up putting this um, idler um, above it to keep the belt off it. So um, when the uh, treadle is, is lifted, it goes back into uh, into still mode. So I am going to put another brace through from the from the back pedestal that the uh, main pulley is on through onto the uh, the anvil here. But that'll just be a piece of two by one, and I'll get that welded on later in the week. So we'll fire it up and uh, give her a bit of a. So with the with the treadle activated, you can see this coming into effect there. And then as, as you drop that off, it uh, goes back to still mode. So I've got a bit of adjustment. So this is where the um, hammer's coming um, right down to um, you know flat stock. But with this up here, I can lift it um, two and a half inches so that if I'm running one of the um, spring fullers, I can, um, I can get that height and, and maintain that same hammer blow. And if we're doing anything bigger on the back of the um, spring, I've got um, inch and a quarter adjustments there as well. So there's uh, quite a good uh, range of adjustments should the, uh, you know, the size of materials warrant it. And with the, with the uh, bearing on here, this is the one that um, I blew out the first time I tried to run it. And uh, that's all working very well now. So that's about it. That's gonna do.